Hey guys, Brian here, and man, Megan just grinding that C pawn, and Max, he did a pretty good job dealing with it, and this move makes sense, right? Block, and then you're going to clean up this pawn, since the rook is blocked, but Megan came up with a beautiful move. This is what the computer recommended, knight e4, and I just think maybe Max did, thought he had loofed, but he really didn't, or maybe he thought the knight could come back here on this square, but he was just like one row to, to up here, but... Alas, it happens to solve very, very easy to armchair quarterback this and be like, oh, you know, I, how could you not see this? But when you're the one playing, man, it's totally different, especially against a great player like Megan. And yeah, this is where the game ended. I mean, um, after the queening, I mean, this doesn't even work because remember, black is still up a queen after this. So uh, it's still winning for, for black, but just wow. Beautiful knight sack by Megan, 94 to sack it and the queen for the win. A nice grinding kind of attack turned into a tactical uh win there for for megan so beautifully done there i mean, I mean she is going to become i would not be surprised if you see her in the u.s uh, women's champ soon in a couple years so she's that damn good man she's only gonna get better and max man let's figure out how he could have kind of dealt with this um this grind by that c pawn and he made some pretty good moves i just think there's little subtle differences that that are very very hard to see when you're the one playing and one of them here in this position we had 92 and then uh, we had 96, but let's go move back. We went from negative 0.7 to negative 3.3. So this is a big advantage for black here. What will be another move for white? Yes, believe it or not, knight e1. Look at that subtle difference. What the heck is, the, is what's the problem? All right, let's explore here. So in the game, we had knight d6, but what can black play here? It's very complex. Yes, rook takes, rook takes, and basically, watch this, queen here. The queen has to keep an eye on this, because knight's attacking, right? If the queen, queen has to stay on the dark squares, uh, but, and uh, this square taken away by the rook, this square taken away by the knight, if you move here, then just boom. So, going back here, trade off, and this definitely favors black. Black's plan is very clear, he's going to march up the king, and it's going to escort. So, going all the way back here, that was all the result of here. Now you have a lot of tension here, right? So 91 kind of uh, dissipates that. And now this could be one continuation. Create some loof, kick the knight, and um, the game is pretty much dead even here at 0.0. .0. So one different knight move, one different square can, can kind of get you like that. And that was a very, very tricky position to deal with. But Megan found the move and ooh, just... Uh, no, no free lunch, man, especially playing with these Prodigy kids, man. So great great fight by Max. Just uh, handled that pawn well. Just kind of made that one uh, blunder there. And um, beautiful, beautiful trap set up by Megan there to finish off. Double sack, boom, boom. Nicely done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.